All right, guys, during my live today, a few people asked me to look into Novak Djokovic being refused entry to Australia. So he can't play in the Australian Open now. So here it is, guys. Novak's Djokovic ritual. I'm going to put this article, guys, in the description, the link, and I want you to read it. For me, this is absolutely to plant a seed to all unvaccinated people that you won't be flying abroad until you get jabbed. I'm never going to get it. If that means I'm never going to be able to go on a plane again and travel the world, so be it. I'm not giving in. I've said this before. They're probably going to try to take away everything from me, but they won't take my soul. I'm not getting that. So Novak Djokovic, arguably the GOAT of tennis, the Serbian Satanist, Novak Djokovic, 53. And COVID, guys, gets you 53. Djokovic is being out in the public many times saying he's not getting vaccinated, he's not being forced to get vaccinated to travel. Just watch what happens in a few months when he comes out and says, I finally decided to do the right thing and I'm going to get vaccinated. Watch. Djokovic was born on the 142nd day of the year, guys. He was born on the 142nd day of the year. Djokovic, he was born on May the 22nd, 142nd day of the year. And in Gematria, coronavirus gets you 142. Just sickening. These athletes, these celebrities, these politicians, just puppets pushing agendas constantly. So coronavirus was declared a global pandemic on March the 11th, 2020. And it was declared to be a global pandemic exactly 42 weeks after Djokovic's birthday. 3-11-2020, May the 22nd, 2019, exactly 42 weeks. Exactly 42 weeks, a number I rave on about. So... He can't get into Australia, so he refused the vaccine. Vaccine gets you 42. No doubt that he is a Jesuit. That gets you 42. And he's absolutely a Freemason, which gets you 42. I'm just done with these scumbags. See here, it says, fail to provide appropriate evidence. In the Chaldean cipher, a really pure cipher, when you type that in, it gets you 147. And Freemason, guys, if we go back here, Freemasons 147. And snooker, going off topic here, snooker, super Masonic sport. That's why they put the red balls inside a triangle, like a pyramid. The highest break in snooker is a 147. Snooker's rigged as well, guys. So I noticed that Djokovic was born on 133 day numerology. Couldn't believe my eyes. As you can see here, 133. Pope Francis became the Pope the 13th of March, 133. And just know that Pope gets you 52 as well. And he was born on 52 day numerology, was Djokovic. As you can see here, it seems like whoever synced up with the Pope have amazing careers. And Francis became the Pope on the 72nd day of 2013. Coronavirus was declared to be a global pandemic, guys, exactly 72 days before Djokovic's birthday. 72 days. Jesuit order gets you 72. And all the headlines, all the newspaper, all the major media outlets are raving on about how Djokovic was unvaccinated. Unvaccinated, 72. We just had those two ugly-ass twins dying at age 72. Just a joke. It really is. It's such a joke. Unvaccinated gets you 117. I'm pretty sure that the Australian Open, yep, the Australian Open begins on 117, like 117. And unvaccinated gets you... 117. The Australian Open begins 117. And unvaccinated gets you 45. And the word ritual, guys, 
Gets you 45. It's just another giant ritual to add to the collection of rituals. I can't wait to bring my book out with all of my codes. Because when you see them all together in one book, it's going to blow your head off. It really is. 72 days, guys. So 72 days is 10 weeks and two days, like 102. Djokovic, he can't play in the Australian Open anymore. Australia gets you 102. And the first celebrity to get coronavirus was Tom Hanks. And where was he when he got coronavirus, guys? In Australia. You want to get me a bottle of water? I do like the Australian accent. And it was raving on about Thursday everywhere. They had to mention Thursday in pretty much every article. And I got this. Djokovic may be ordered to leave Melbourne as early as Thursday evening because Australian Border Force, a.k.a. the Jesuits, said he failed to provide appropriate evidence to meet the requirements to enter the country. Somebody like Djokovic, a multimillionaire, you telling me he doesn't have the lawyers who know what's going to go down when he arrives there? It was all a ritual, guys. And they said he got detained for X amount of hours. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. It's just a show. It's just warning people like myself saying, listen, you won't be traveling unless you consent to the vaccine. You're not going to be traveling. And honestly, I think that is one of the main reasons why people have got vaccinated because they want to travel. They want to go on holiday two weeks a year. I really think that's one of the main reasons. I'm not sure how many actually got it to protect themselves. So Thursday, Thursday, guys, gets you 35 and 46. Catholic gets you 35 and 46. Djokovic gets you 35 and 46, guys. It's just outrageous. It's truly outrageous, guys. And I'll tell you something else that's scandalous. So going into 2022, Djokovic has 20 Grand Slams. Federer has 20 Grand Slams. And Nadal has 20 Grand Slams, like 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Going into 2022, like 2-2-2. Two, two, two. These people, they need bringing down, guys. It's all ritual. Do you really think Djokovic gives a shit that he's going to miss out on the Australian Open where he could have got his 21st Grand Slam win? Do you think he really cares? They don't give a shit, guys. It's all ritual to them. They don't give a shit. It's all about mocking the masses, distracting the masses, having us idolize them. They don't care about trophies. They don't care about money. They know money is a control tool. They're set for life, these people. Because the members of these societies, no vax Djokovic, just, just scandalous, guys. Just scandalous. And for another seventy-two, Novak gets you seventy-two. Djokovic's first name. Just beyond a joke at this point. It's truly beyond a joke, and. If you read the article, it's, it's so annoying, guys. Serbia's president, Aleksandar Vukic, said the whole of Serbia supported Djokovic. Our authorities are taking all measures to stop the harassment of the best tennis player in the world in the shortest possible period. Vukic posted to his Instagram account. This has nothing to do with who's good at tennis, guys. It's human rights fact that you can't travel now pretty much anywhere unless you've been double jabbed even though those people still can get coronavirus and spread it do you know what i mean he said he had spoken to the tennis player on the phone this morning in accordance with the norms of international public law serbia will fight for novak djokovic for justice and truth otherwise novak is strong as we all know him no he's a scumbag and not enough people know that and look at this. A source close to Tennis Australia said it appeared federal officials blocked Djokovic's entry to avoid the potentially unpopular appearance of allowing him into the country with a medical exemption. My word. I don't know how the feds... The feds, 
are just agents, guys. Members of the order will address the fact that several tennis players are already in the country with the same exemption granted to Novak, the source said. So other tennis players have managed to get in and Novak couldn't. It shows you the bullshit and inconsistency with all of this from day one. Look, no mask, mask. I I'm done with it. It's just a joke. It's just a joke. Why did he get all the way to Australia to get turned away? Surely there'd be communication along the way. This guy's got a mask on his chin. It's just a freaking joke. What's this? I have no idea what is happening. They are holding my son in captivity for five hours. Djokovic's dad. Piss off, mate. In captivity for five hours? It's such a joke. Guys, the world's a stage. Everything's a big movie and ritual. He was initially granted an exemption. And then got turned away. Look here. 11.30 p.m. is when he landed. 113. The number of deception, guys. The number of deception is 113. Said it about a million times. And he lands at 11.30. My God. When are people just going to step up and stop letting these scumbags decide how we live our lives? Oh my God. So he's won the Australian Open nine times. They probably want to keep him on nine. We know how big the numbers three, six and nine are. They probably want to keep him on nine. Just a joke. I wonder if they keep them all on 20, 20, 20. Let's see. I want to see what Melbourne is before I go. I want to see what Melbourne is in Gematria. Oh, for crying out loud, it's 42. Summit just told me to look it up. Melbourne, 42 in Gematria, guys. And coronavirus was declared to be a global pandemic exactly 42 weeks after Djokovic's birthday. My goodness. My goodness, guys. Melbourne, 42 in the purest cipher. Oh, my God. Look how Melbourne as well gets you 48. This is just a joke. When I do these videos, guys, I just find so much as I'm doing them. Melbourne gets you 48. Djokovic was born on a day leaving 223 days left in the year. And 223, guys, is the 48th prime. And Melbourne's 48. This is just a giant ritual, a huge ritual. This number's enormous, 42, guys. It's why the World Cup final finished 4-2. France beat Croatia. Freemason in Gematria, 42. Jesuit, 42. England win their first World Cup in 66, the year the Church of Satan was founded and they win it 4-2 by beating Germany. When Kobe died, Lakers won the NBA with LeBron. They beat the Miami Heat 4-2. It's a joke. The year Kobe died, the Dodgers won. They won the World Series 4-2. It's a freaking joke. It's a joke, guys. So there you have it. I've done this because a few people really wanted me to look into it. I know Djokovic is a superstar. He's respected all over the world. Well, he's nothing but a sick, vile human fraud. Cheers, guys.